Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the QNAP 4Bay TS-453BE uh, NAS. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to the products I'm using in this video down in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So, if you've been following my channel for a while, you've probably seen I do a lot of videos on Synology NASs. And I'll put a link in the description to my playlist on Synology. And I just wanted to get one of these in and check it out and, you know, play with it a little bit, find out the differences. I'm going to be installing four Western Digital Red drives in it. So, uh, my videos on Synology, the main one is my DS918 Plus, and I have a DS718 Plus, and those both use an Intel processor, and this uses the same Intel processor. So I'm guessing the performance is gonna be about the same. And uh, I'm gonna do some videos on this. I'll probably do some comparison videos in the future, so stay tuned for those. We'll look at the box here. Uh, it says we have four core, max 2.3 gigahertz, PCIe 10 gigabit, so you can put a 10 gigabit card in here. So this is different from the Synology. Um, they ha it has M.2 slots in it. And this says uh, M.2 SSD, uh, runs virtual machines, snapshots, HDMI, 4K, HD output. So this does have uh, HDMI output, whereas the Synology does not. On the back we have data protection, surveillance station, mobile management, private cloud file sharing, and backup station. So I'll crack this open. There's a little welcome message. Got a power cord here. Looks like a box with the uh, looks like a box probably with cables and such maybe. Yes, we have a power cable and Ethernet cable. Two Ethernet cables. Here we have the NAS itself. So here's the front, we have power button. It looks like we have LEDs for status, LAN, USB. There's a USB 3.0, I'm thinking that is, on the front. Um, this is probably a button you press if you want to sync files. Um, and I, I haven't done a lot of research on this, so I'll find out for sure about all this stuff. But um, you could probably stick a flash drive in there, hit the button, and it'll sync the files up. Okay, so this front slides off. There's a lock on the side here. You unlock it, and then this just slides off. And here you have your four bays. More packing material. And they're labeled one, two, three, four. On the top we have a sticker there. It says it's quad core J3455, 1.5 gigahertz up to 2.3. I have 4K UHD HDMI output, available PCIe slot for 10 gigabit ethernet, network or M.2 expansion. On this side it has quick setup. It says go to install.qnap.com enter in your cloud key and then hit enter or you can scan the code looks like this is the slot for the 10 gigabit ethernet we have microphone one microphone two looks like line out and then hdmi one hdmi two uh, two i assume they're gigabit ethernet ports four usb 3.0 slots and the dc in it's funny how tiny that uh, power is so i'll open the front here we'll check out the drive caddies Looks like you press down on these and slide them out, just like so. These can then pull out like so, like that. So I'll open up one of my hard drives here. Okay. There's a little packing material on here. So I'm going to place the drive in. I'm going to line up the holes in the side here. You see they're lined up. There we go. I'm actually going to put this in drive one. So there we have it installed. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, I have one drive in here. I can put all of them in. I just want to start with one drive and see how that goes, and then I want to 
um, experiment with adding drives. So I'll put a link in the description of my playlist on this. If you're watching this on the day I put this out, there'll only be one video there, but I'm gonna continue making videos on this. Um, next will be like the initial setup, and then we'll kind of go from there. But if there's anything you want me to cover, please leave a comment below because I'm always interested in what people wanna see, and I'd like to cater to that. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.